Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Christina and here on the channel we talk about life in Ukraine before and during the war. Now you and I are going to my dacha, my village, and while you look at the beautiful roads, let me remind you of what happened to the village. As you know, a year ago part of the key region was occupied. By the way, the roads we will drive on, you will definitely see these roads, they are too good. These roads were destroyed and a lot of military equipment drove here. Orcs were along the track too, but further along. But that's not what the video is about, since God orcs didn't enter our village, it's too small and unnoticeable, but they were two kilometers away from our village. You know, in Ukraine, when there are very small villages, there is always a larger village for reference. Exactly in our village, there are only about 40 houses, but people live there no more than four. Uh, about 20 houses are abandoned and uh, the rest uh, are used by the vacationers for, for the summer or for a couple of weeks. But also you can remember that our dacha, our buildings was destroyed uh, from the sky. The house itself is a separate summer kitchen. In Ukraine we call it... Um, uh, summer kitchen in Ukraine, it's a um, separate building where the kitchen was and uh, was used mostly in the summer. So, uh, it was destroyed by a drop of something from the sky and also the shed, which was also a garage, was destroyed. Yes, this house was old, uh, this um, uh, house was old, but for me and especially for my mom, it's a very precious place and a memory of my grandfather and her father, who is no longer with us. And in general, the memory of my childhood. You know, everyone has that place where you feel carefree and uh, happy just to be there. By the way, the energy of this place has changed. Now, for me, uh, and I'm a person uh, who felt energies very strongly. For me here now is empty energy. You know, neither good nor bad, but just empty. We stopped by to pick up my mom and we'll pick up the electrician on the way. Yes, yes, the electrician. I'll tell you why next, but for now one thing at a time. We are driving along the Zhitomer Highway and as you can see there is a good road, bump outs, buildings are in a wait. But soon we will have to leave the highway and drive on country roads uh, on Unreal. Uh, puzzles and we'll still uh, have a low car so we will drive very carefully we will look at our village and the roads there in the meantime let's remember what our dacha looked like before the war when we enter the yard the first thing we see is a well such an old well we called it a zhravel i remind you that this video was for my personal archive so it's not perfect Next, uh, this is an old hut, the house itself, uh, where we sleep, and yes, it is old. Here is the main room, I'll later show you inside. Next, kitchen in a separate building, we call the summer kitchen, and there is a garage. We came here after the winter, usually we come here once a year in the summer and then of course it looks different here because in the summer there is a lot of greenery. There's a garden over there, a river and other villages behind it. No one has lived here for a whole year, that's why it's not cleaned and you can see that on the video. It's a kitchen, the first thing we did when we came here was to clean and tidy up so we could spend a couple of days here. 
There is a table, a store and a fridge, the store is old, but no one has used it for a long time, most of the time we cooked and ate outside at the table. Let's go into the house, the door is a little crumbly from the cold, we'll clean it up now. Here is a fridge. This is the house where my great-grandmother used to live. After she passed away, we only came here in the summer for a couple of weeks because there was no water. We used to get it from the well, but that uh, didn't stop us from having a good time here, going to the lake later. I will show it, uh, doing kebabs. Uh, we called it uh, shashlik. Also here we picking flowers and spending time in nature, since we are people from Kyiv and do not often spend time in nature. When fishing and wore old clothes. The last time we came there was a very strong hail storm. We were shocked about that nature and it's okay. I'm happy as a child here. The photo from the summer when we went fishing and everything was summery in the village. And yes, we even had fishing rods that my grandfather made himself. Catching fish and often just letting them go. This lake was dug a long time ago. There are underground water sources, so there are only small fish. And this is what the road to Dacha and Dacha looked like when we first saw it after the Rashist left the Kiev region. I will not comment further, see for yourself, there were three point blank hits. All that remains here is a well, a children's swing that my grandfather also made a long time ago, and a fence which we put up a year ago and plan to further improve the house here little by little and uh, there are burnt uh, trees. You can see on the video how my hands are shaking. I was completely shocked when I saw it in person. And yes, it's nothing compared to other tragedies in Ukraine and in our family too. Nothing compares to the people we lose, but it was a memory for our family and we loved uh, this place, even thought it uh, wasn't expensive, big and new. As you understood, this was a video from our last trip there, and now we just go there and see what has changed over the year. But we are just now going close the highway into the villages, and I just want to show you our usual villages. How it looks, how the roads look in them. So, you can see it now.
I think the Ukrainian nature is incredible. By the way, of course, in some places there are still ruined buildings, houses and roads. By the way, guys, please write in the comments if you like this kind of video format. And I also want to say thank you for your support of both my family and my channel. By the way, if you want and you have the opportunity, you can support my channel more. For example, become a Patreon uh, or buy me more coffee. Links I will leave under the video. and. Thank each of you for your support and once again I will make an accent that it's solely at your request and ability. But honestly it really helps us to keep our spirits up even when I'm editing a video sitting in the shelter in the morning. We are pulling up now and we've got this mini building, it uh, looks like a construction trailer. Uh, why do we need it? The fact that my mom really wants to come here in the summer so much so that uh, she was willing to just come and sit in the ruins. Of course, we can't afford that. On this uh, put such a carriage and we will next time bring a little bit to improve it and bring uh, in some furniture and to hire someone to clear or remove the debris that was left of the building. Unfortunately, we haven't managed to get any elementary help from the authorities. Everything is very expensive because the village is 80 kilometers from Kyiv and just to take out the trash is worth as much as a monthly salary of mom, if not more. Plus, uh, during the war our prices uh, for construction materials doubled and it just trash to take out. And everything else is scary to imagine how much it costs. Of course, you may ask why we don't build a house. There are two reasons. For the war is uh, still going on and we don't know where the rocket will fly next time. The second reason is material. Of course, it's very expensive and we have no money to build a house in which we go only in summer. On this house as an uh, option so far. Also, I cannot say that I'm not crazy about it. I think you have already guessed that the electrician we brought in order then he would connect our light. Of course, uh, uh, it ruined everything and of course in a small village there is no electrician. And if you want them to come to you, you have to pay for the trip or bring workers. That's uh, just me telling you how it is and this is what's left of uh, the houses. Of course, I'm so happy in the video, but I actually cried a few times because it's sad to watch uh, as some things that were for you a memory simply destroyed, broken and in unstable condition. Plus, there were a lot of pictures, uh, photos, things uh, that uh, reminded not only of my grandfather, but my great-grandmother, who once lived here too. So, while everyone is out, I'll show you without people what these houses looks like. <laughs> houses. I don't know uh, the face of the emmer, but this uh, wall house is like one room in size. It already has light, which is not bad, because with light is better than without light. Lol, I know. Then I walked around for a few more hours looking at everything and also rummaging around in the middle 
uh, found mice. I am not afraid of mice, uh, by the way, but I am afraid of snakes. But I didn't take that off and then we decided to walk around the village. So I invite you to take a walk around the village while we were walking for half an hour, only about 5 cars drove by here, so it's so quiet. You can only hear birds and toads from the lake, which is not far away. Now we are going to walk there too. And I also picked some flowers, of course. Also, we were bitten by mosquitoes. By the way, an interesting fact, when I walk with my husband, mosquitoes eat him, not me. Maybe his blood tastes better. The water level in the lake is very high. Remember I told you that there were floods in Kyiv too, but in Kyiv it's all right now. And here it's an artificial lake and the water rose very strongly in the middle. I have never seen such a level of water here. In fact, you know, it's uh, both joyful and sad. Sad because my mother is sad, but still wants to come here. And sad because it's hard even to come here because there is nothing. Uh, we'll buy some beds and some furniture, of course, but we need a refrigerator and a stove and a kettle and other things like that. Uh, well, even just to be here for a few weeks without anything. But on the other hand, we are here so rarely that it's pity to live it in this kind of house because it can just break in and take all this stuff out. 
Anyway, that's it and we are already on our way home and trying to avoid the potholes. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next video on the channel.